Hello everybody, it's Niklas and welcome to this new video, new video on Lunacy and in this video we are going to see how to create friends and how you can manage friends. Lunacy very interesting software if you want to create design for mobile application but also design for website. It is also possible to create different type of graphic doc document. It is a totally free uh, software. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like, like the content, a lot of graphic content on these channels. First link on the description, the complete course Lunacy is available. So if you want to learn this software step by step with the course structure, it is on the first link on the description. Modules of the course, session of the course, different also trainings at the end of the course. Second link on the description, I'm going to put the website in link with this YouTube channels. You have series of video tutorials on these channels and on the second link on the description it is like online online school it is a website and concretely you have a list of all the courses in link with these channels so let's start with to create a frame something that we can do it's directly to select these tools so we have the frame tools and with the frame tools i can go left click and then I will be able to define the size that I want just on the right. So first I can create a frame. I can go on the right and I can enter a specific value. For example, I can tap here maybe 800. And on this area I can tap 460. After to do this work, I can just define the size that I want. And now you have a frame on the left. This frame you can rename if you want. You can double click and for example, I can tap frame number one. You can also start a frame with a predefined size. If I click here, I go on the right and I have different options. If for example, I want to create a frame like for example, one of these, this one or this one, I can select the first one, left click. And as you can see, you can create directly this frame. If I just come back and I click on this area, you have more options like some fun options. I can click on this one and automatically I will have directly this size. If I just continue with my frame, so you have fun options. You can also work with tablet, paper. You have different models of banner. So this is why, as I explained, you can also create graphic document because you have all this possibility to start at the beginning. So you can start with all this predefined size. So after to do this work, when you have your frame, so I can use my selection tools, you can select your frame, you can drag and move the frame. And just when you go on the right, you have different options. So for example, you can define the position, you can invert, you can change also the orientation. Here I can create some rotation. On this area, you can add rounded corner. It is more options that you will use, for example, for shape, but it's possible to use on frame. If I just click here, I can go on the right and you have different type of corners. You can also use independent corner. And in this case, you can define different corners on each side. So for example, I can define all these different corners like this one, this one, and here let's just come back with another value. And you can also have the options to smooth the corner radius. You will have something little bit different as you can see when you smooth the corner radius. If you want to come back, you just deactivate and you can enter the value of zero just on this area. So after that, you have more uh, options. On your frame, you can, for example, display a grid or a layout grid. If I just click on this area, I can display a grid and I will have the options. You can change the grid color, the transparency. The most important is to be able to change the grid size just on this area. You just drag and move the mouse or enter the values that you want. If you want to deactivate the grid, you just click here. You can also separate in columns and rows. In this case, you can activate layout grid. And I have a number of columns here and a number of rows. So for example, I can just click on columns 
And when you go on setting layout here, you can edit the settings and I can enter the count that I want. If, for example, I select four, the position is on the left. You can position center and right and stretch. If I select center, it depends of the wide that you enter on this area. If you just don't want a wide just to fill your frames, you just click here, stretch, and you can stretch. If I click on this area, I can create to offset on the left or on the right. But if you don't want offset, why well, you just click here, stretch, and you can stretch on your area. You can define the gutter, so it means the space between each column, this space, this space, and this space. And you can also enter if you need, you have a gutter outside if you want to add like a margins on this area. And it will be the size of the gutter. You can also repeat this process if I just click here using the rows value. So I can deactivate the columns. And if I just click on layout grid, I can activate the rows and deactivate columns. If I activate rows, I can go on the setting layout, the options, and I can define the number of gutter one more times. And here define the eight. Um, let's just apply a value like, for example, I can reduce or increase my value. This value will depend of the gutter. And you can also draw all horizontal lines just like this. You have these options and you can draw multiple horizontal lines. And you can change the height just here and you can work with the gutter. So if I just come back, I will option. I think the row setting is not extremely uh, convenient sometimes. I'm going to deactivate this one and reactivate this one. I will just click here. And if you want to deactivate the layout grid, you can just go on this area or you can just click here and you can deactivate the layout. You can also fill the backgrounds of your frame. You just go on the fill options. You have different options. Here it is a color, but you can also integrate a gradient. Let just fill with a color. So it's not useful on your frame to create, for example, a rectangle on the backgrounds because you can just fill your frame with a color or a gradient. Last important point, if you want to deactivate, you can click here. But if you click here, as you can see, you won't have any color, so it's not convenient. So definitely, if I just click here, I can remove the color and I don't see my frame for the simple reason that I don't have the white color. So I can click on my frames, fills, and I can come back, for example, with the white color just on this area. You can also on your frame add effect. One more time, it's more useful on shapes, but you can also do this on boards, on frames. So you can define here the thickness, just like this, the style and the color of your frame. If you want to deactivate, you just click here and you can go on effect and you can also define shadows inner shadows, Gaussian blur, and you have also the background blur. If I just select the shadows, we have a small shadows on this area. I can click on this point and I can extend on the X axis, Y axis, put a value of blur and extend with the spread options just like that. But one more time, it's more useful if we work on shapes. So after that, I can remove my effect, just need to click on remove. About the frame, if we want to duplicate a frame, it's possible. So I can press Ctrl D or right click and we have the options duplicate here. After that, you can define the space that you want. I can press Ctrl D or right click duplicate and Ctrl D again or right click duplicate. You can define the space that you want automatically, but exactly like the shapes, you can use these panels to have the right alignment. So for example, if I have different elements like this, I can use create a frame of selection and use my alignment panels like align vertically, and I can define the same space distribute horizontal spacing, just like that. And after that, I can have the same alignment. You can rename one more time. So here I can tap frame number two. Here I can tap 
frame number 3 and here I can tap frame number 4. So every time, as you can see, this is how you can organize your frame. You can also, if you need, um, select just one frame and you can just drag and move once or you can select all the frame and you can move all the frame. You can have the number of frames that you want inside the page. Here I see the page number one, but you can also create another page and have frames on a different page. So we are going to stop here for this video. If you like this video, subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel. Continue to follow me with a lot of uh, content. First link on the description, I'm going to put the complete course Lunacy. So if you want to uh, learn this software step by step with a curse structure, it's on the first link on the description. You will see the models, the sessions, what you will be able to learn. Um, different hours of trainings, uh, training course. Second link on the description, it is a website, it is like online schools. Concretely, you have a series of video tutorials on these YouTube channels. And on the second link on the description, you have a summary of all the courses. And for our next video, see you. Ciao, ciao.